Warning, this channel is meant for viewers 21 plus and was created for educational and documentary purposes only. Beginner Buzz does not condone illegal activity and certainly does not sell anything. So don't even ask. Seriously. How's it growing, everyone? We're back at it again this week and we got a little something new. We've been talking about Mars Hydro's new light, the FCE 8000. Well, it's here. So let's take a peek at what we got, do a par reading, and we've even got recommended hanging heights and intensity settings based on those numbers. Let's go. point you know we're trying to make this our full-time jobs but youtube is well youtube when it comes to cannabis despite this we continue to find ourselves surrounded by nothing but love and support from this community if you did want to support the channel a little more the best way to do that is through our patreon with a private discord additional in-depth videos Patreon exclusive merch and live streams, or even the chance to smoke face to face with the buds, every tier gets something. The amount of support we've already received has been absolutely mind blowing. We love you guys, really. All right, let's get back to it. All right guys, so a second upload this week. Over the weekend, we dropped a video on all things par, what it is, why it's relevant to us growers, and how to measure and set your lights. If you haven't checked it out yet, go do that. It'll probably help you understand some of the language and terminology you'll hear in this episode. As for today, we got the FCE 8000. Mars Hydro wanted us to test it out, so that's exactly what we're doing. Good for tents up to 5x5, it comes equipped with 3,928 full spectrum bridge lux diodes. White, blues, reds, and even far reds. First though, a little recap. The term PAR, it stands for photosynthetically active radiation, and it's the wavelength of light that plants use for photosynthesis. It falls within the 400 to 700 nanometer range, though Dr. Bruce Bugby over at Apogee suggests the last number should be bumped to 750. In fact, that's exactly the spectrum our new EPAR meter from Apogee reads, 400 to 750 nanometers. As the far red spectrum has proven relevant to plants, especially these plants. Before we got to that, we ran a quick wattage test with the light at 100% and it came out to 825 watts. Mars Hydro says it puts out 800 watts, but come to find out, it's more. So that's all good. Next, it's time to make a PAR map. With our Apogee EPAR sensor reading in micromoles, we took readings from all over the tent to compile a little map. The numbers, also known as PPFD, or photosynthetic photon flux density, are actually a little lower, but that really doesn't matter as 1200 micromoles a second is the maximum amount of light a cannabis plant can take. And that's only if the grower has everything on point. Beyond that, you would have to adjust CO2 levels in the tent in order for them to keep up. Mars Hydro recommends growers hang their lights 12 inches above their canopy. So that's where we took our PAR reading. After that came trying to match the ideal PPFD, or micromoles per second, with light intensity. As can be seen on the FCE 8000, the light comes equipped with a dial in order to increase or decrease the intensity of the light. Showing percentages, growers can dim the lights down to about 10% or turn them all the way up to 100%. At the recommended height though, and at max intensity, you have numbers displayed in our PAR map which is way too bright. In our PAR video, we also explained what ideal ranges are based on the plant's growth stage and grower skill. Remember here, like a lot of other things in the tent, less is more. If you're not sure, start on the lower end. For clones, light should read 100 to 125 ppfd. Seeds are best between 100 and 300 ppfd. Early veg, 200 to 300. 
late veg 400 to 600 700 to 800 for early flower and 800 to 1000 ppfd max for late flower just a few notes here auto flowers should stop at the late veg amount and leave them at that intensity until harvest auto flowers have more light per day so they need less light constantly to amount to its total daylight needs those still learning are going to want to stop photo periods at the flower range and stay there as they learn and get everything dialed in. Beyond that, everything has to be on point as you're going to start pushing your plants. If you're that good, great, go for it. Advanced growers should be able to run lights at 800 to 1000 and the real masters can get it up to around 1200, which is the known max for cannabis. With all that in mind, we went to the middle of the road. These numbers may need to be adjusted, maybe a little up, maybe a little down, based on your current setup and ability. Oh, and one more thing. The dial on the light breaks down 25% with three dashes in between. Obviously, this doesn't divide even, so each line actually represents 6.25%, as weird as that is, but also good to know. All right, so we have a few numbers based on what you'd like to do. We measured at 12 inches, which is Mars Hydro's recommended distance from the canopy, 18, 24, and 36. So wherever you like to hang the light, we have where you should set your intensity. Let's get to it. 12 inches, starting with clones. The light should be at its minimum. Like we said, we ran the center of the tent at the middle of the road for the suggested rates based on stage. The outside edges of the tent fall at about the minimum of each of these stages. Keep that in mind when figuring out where you like to be. Seeds at 200 ppfd should be set to 17%. Early veg should be at 19% with late veg at 30%. Early flower should be 55%, which is where most people should stop. Those wanting to push for better yield can end in late flower reading about 70%. All right, let's bang the rest out. Starting from clone and ending in late flower, each of the stages for 18 inches are 8%, 18%, 20%, 44%, 53%, and 73%. Going up to 24 inches, we have 10%, 19%, 23%, 44%, 43%, 44%, 45%, 46%, 47%, 48%, 49%, 75%. And finally, we have 36 inches at 12%, 20%, 26%, 56%, and 77%. So boom, there you have it. Exact and precise measurements on the height and intensity to specifically set for the Mars Hydro FCE 8000. Other lights will differ, but we'll be releasing other individually specific recommendations to each of our lights as well. If you're a Mars Hydro fan, that's perfect. For others with lights that have similar wattage outputs, it should be a good starting point for you, but will likely need to be dialed in based on the individual gardener. That's it for this episode, guys. Thanks so much for stopping by and checking out our new light by Mars Hydro. If you can't wait till the next video, come find us on Instagram for additional content and come join our Discord so we can personally chat, send pics, and it comes with a supportive community to help diagnose any issues you might have and offer all the encouragement you'll need along the way. It's on our Patreon, a dollar. Go do it. <laughs> Until the next one, keep learning, keep growing. Catch, Catch you later, later guys. guys.